Hello and good day, everybody, at the Lutz Academy. Jeremiah here with another bass lesson for you. In our last lesson, we talked about making sure your bass is in tune. We also talked a little bit about making sure you had the action set up correctly. On today's lesson, I want to talk about proper posture and the most comfortable way to hold the bass. First thing I'm going to discuss is the chair. You want to make sure you got yourself a good, solid chair that's the right height for you. You don't want to be sitting in a chair that's too low where you got your knees all jacked up like this because that's going to put extra stress on your lower back that you don't want. At the same time, you don't want a chair that's a little too high where you're all off kilter, right? You want to be sitting with your legs basically parallel to the floor and your knees bent at a 90 degree angle and your feet firmly planted on the floor. And that'll help balance your whole body because the bass is a pretty heavy instrument, right? So you want to be in that comfort zone. Now I'm going to talk about kind of how I'm holding the bass. You can kind of see how the neck is aiming out this way. You want it to be able to basically come down and be two or three inches from your knee there. And the reason for that is because this arm here, you want basically straight with your body and your elbow bent at a 90 degree angle. And that way I can get from the bottom of the neck to the top of the neck and back and forth without ever twisting my wrist this way or this way or this way. That way my tendons are free to move without any extra tension on them. And that's very important. You want that to be effortless, right? See, I can get all the way up and down, and that never bends. And uh, once you got that there, just slide your hand up and down and just feel that. And then also, you don't have any extra tension on your shoulder because uh, if you're in a like if you're too far back this way, see how my shoulder's all jacked up now? You don't want that either, right? So you kind of just move, if you got to move your arm around until you find that, just loosen up there, and there you go, right? Smooth flow. Now over on this side here, same thing. You basically want this arm draped this way so you have no tension on your shoulder. And I usually rest about halfway down my forearm right there. I like to put my thumb on that pickup and that's kind of like my home base, I'd call it, my neutral position. And that way I can reach all my strings if I'm plucking and if I'm picking, I'm still in that sweet spot. Again, over here, you want to make sure your wrist isn't getting twisted up here either. Of course, you're going to have a little bit of action because that's your wrist is gonna have to bend for what you're doing but you want it straight for the most part again so those tenons not being twisted like this and uh it's very physical the bass playing the bass is you know, on your tenons it's going to be a lot of work and on your muscles right so you want it basically to help all that by just being in that smooth happy position right and once you got it there just feel the bass It'll become an extension of your body and uh Feel it. it should be effortlessly just sitting there and connected. Once you kind of got that, now we're going to talk a little bit about uh, strap position and height. So I'm going to stand up here, let go of the base, I'm going to sit back down. Now you see the base? It hasn't moved. I'm going to see it's right about right here. I'll just keep that hand there as an example. It hasn't moved. And uh, so you want to adjust your base so it's in the same position when you're sitting down. So right now I'm sitting down. And the strap's there, but there's really, it's, it's there, but there's not much slack, but it's also not, the weight isn't on the base. But when I stand up, it's right there, right? I know a lot of people like to drop their strap down here and get that old thing going because it looks cool and whatnot, but uh, it's very uncomfortable to play like that. So if you're just starting out, I recommend setting yourself up so the base is in that comfortable position, standing up, sitting down. And I do also recommend... Once in a while, practice standing up, right? If you eventually want to go out and perform live, you're going to want to be comfortable in that position. But uh, most of the part, you're going to be sitting down practicing quite often. But at least this way, when you do stand up, you're in exactly pretty much the same position as when you were uh, sitting down. So when you connect those two things, it's, uh, it's perfect that way. So now you're there, like I said, just feel it. Slide your hand around, make sure there's no tension on your shoulders. No tension on your wrists and that you're centered and well balanced and uh, I know this is something you just kind of do without thinking about after a while but it is good when you're first learning just focus on that right and uh, get a good grasp on that and so next week we'll start talking about some picking techniques and then some finger techniques after that and that'll kind of get you in the next step because we're gonna start working on some scales and in no time we'll have you making some music on this bass. So I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Until next time.